Hi everyone, Sean here and welcome to another episode of Lines in Sand. This is going to be a little bit shorter than my usual videos, but I wanted to follow up on something that we investigated here on the channel a few months back. Recently on the channel I did a deep dive into the potential burial place of Imhotep, the great architect and later the god of healing. Now I don't want to start this video with a promotion for another video so I will just give you the cliff notes version of that one. In the previous video on this subject we discussed potential burial places, potential locations for the resting place of Imhotep. Some of these places were more probable than others Others, let's be honest, and some of them were, well, just downright impossible to be fair, but had links to Imhotep in various ways which made them worth investigating along the uh, rabbit trail of information. Now, at the end of that video, we stumbled across the mysterious Mastaba 3518. This appeared to be the last tomb in a series of tombs unearthed by the Egyptologist Walter Emery before he sadly passed away. Various sources online suggest that Mastaba 3518 is potentially the resting place of Imhotep, but I could find absolutely zero information about this tomb on the internet at the time. What we do know is that Mastava 3518 is a burial chamber in the Saqqara region of Egypt. There we go, I pronounced it right this time. Saqqara. <laughs> British Egyptologist Chris Norton mentions this on his blog, albeit briefly, but outside of that, information online about Mastava 3518 isn't all that readily available. I ended my previous video on that cliffhanger for this reason. What is Mastava 3518? Who was buried there? I ended with an appeal for further information, not really expecting that I would get any. I simply have all the thanks in the world then for one of the, sorry, to one of the uh, lovely people out there who watches this channel for reaching out and giving me a new lead on information about Mastava 3518. A YouTube user called Lars emailed me explaining that my Imhotep video had jogged his memory and he recalled reading about Mastaba 3518 some time ago in a book called The Tomb in Ancient Egypt, authored by Aidan Dodson and Salima Ekram. Again, I apologise if I have butchered those names. I immediately went online looking for copies of this book, but as with a lot of larger tomes on ancient Egypt, it can be quite expensive to buy, especially now that it's out of print or at least out of general circulation. Lars, however, was kind enough to include some photographs that he took from inside the book, including a page that contains a diagram of the tomb. I literally jumped out of bed when I woke up to Lars's email a few days after publishing my Imhotep video. And whilst I don't expect you to share that same ridiculous level of excitement that I had, we should definitely take a closer look at what Lars was kind enough to send me. On to the tomb in ancient Egypt then, on page 145, in a section on Old Kingdom tombs discussing Mastaros, the Authors point to both Mastavas 3518 and 3073 as private tombs of interest in the Saqqara region. We can immediately discard 3073, at least through the lens of this particular investigation, as the text attributes this tomb to somebody called Kabausokar. <laughs> there is little to no doubt that I've pronounced that incorrectly, so I've popped the name on screen. Mastaba 3518, however, the authors attribute to, and I quote, an anonymous noble of Zosa's reign, end quote. So, who was this anonymous noble? Was it Imhotep? Walter Emery, at least, seemed to think so. The authors of The Tomb in Ancient Egypt go on to write that Mastaba 3518 has a remarkably complex chapel, inside it. The size of this mastava, measuring 170 feet by 60 feet or 52 meters by 19 meters thereabouts, leads the authors to declare that a tomb of this size and complexity could only have belonged to a quote, particularly prominent member of the court, conceivably the great Imhotep, architect of the Steppe Pyramid, whose orientation it shares. 
I love that they just come right out and say this, which is very exciting, but unfortunately they stop short of providing any evidence for such a grandiose claim, which is the problem I have with Master Hubbard 3518 in the first place, and they don't actually provide any further references that can be hunted down, which, again, leads me back to square one. Also, it does not determine the proximity of Master Hubbard 3518 to the Ibis burials and other animal burials at Saqqara and the temple at which these mummified animals were initially offered, at least in the case of the thousands upon thousands of ibis birds sacrificed and mummified in the name of Imhotep. All I still know at this point is that 3518 is in the Saqqara region. I would imagine that it is incredibly close to the ibis burial grounds, as 3518 was the last in a line of tombs that Walter Emery and his team unearthed, and others in that period of discovery were directly linked to the temple and the burials, with 3508 and I think 3510 even both being directly connected to the wider temple and burial complex, but not 3518, it seems. If we take a closer look at the diagram that Lars has sent me and then remind ourselves that this mastaba is 52 meters long, then hopefully you can get a sense of scale for the size of this tomb. One of the first notable features of this tomb, if you'll excuse me for resorting to using a mouse here like some sort of demented school teacher, is that it has two deep vertical shafts. It's not clear just how deep these shafts are, or what, if anything, was ever inside them, but it is interesting to see that the shaft, this one here that's off-center, has something that resembles a corridor, or possibly an annex, that goes off from the main shaft structure. The diagram also seems to indicate that these shafts are only reachable from the top of the Mastava, and that they seem to be completely separate excavations to the maze of tunnels and chambers that run through Mastava 3518. It's also not clear to me at this point which part of this structure acted as the previously noted complex temple system, so I will refrain from making assumptions. I do wonder, however, what this series of magazines uh, I'll say magazines for a lack of a better term, over here next to this second shaft. What are these? And also this central hollowing with what appears to be steps cut into it. There's, there's probably more going on here than what we can see from the diagram, but just I've studied this quite a bit over the last few days and I've yet to make sense of it all. Something that is also very much worthy of note is that Pharaoh Zosa's name is found engraved throughout Mastaba 3518. Interestingly, this contrasts with Imhotep's name being found engraved in Zosa's Step Pyramid. I still don't know if anything at all of any worth was found inside Mastaba 3518 when it was excavated in the late 60s. There may still be merit in further investigation, perhaps along academic routes as I suggested at the end of the Imhotep video. And whilst I do not feel any closer to the mystery of where, you know, solving where Imhotep was buried, the completely elusive nature of Mastaba 3518 really got under my skin, so to be presented with a diagram of it after so many long hours researching it, it almost felt like a weight had been lifted in a kind of weird way. Of course, in a nature typical of the ancient world, studying this diagram of Mastaba 3518 has just raised countless further questions without actually really answering any of the questions I already had, other than, oh, I wonder what that tomb looks like. But who knows what the future will bring if I get any new information, I will of course keep you all updated of any developments, and my most grateful thanks go out once more to Lars for sending me photographs of the inside of his copy of the tomb in ancient Egypt. I seem to say this at the end of every new video now, and I'm genuinely not putting it on. The discussions we have around the topics at hand are some of my favorite parts about running this small channel. So if you have any thoughts to share on Imhotep or Mastaba3518, then I would love to hear them. You can also email me, as Lars has done, via the address on the About tab. So. As I said, a short one today, and normal service will resume shortly. If by any chance you're watching this and haven't seen my previous video in this line of investigation uh, into Imhotep, I'll pop a link to the full Imhotep video in the description below, as well as rig it to pop up at the end card of this current video. As always, like most other YouTubers, I will urge you to subscribe if you have not done so already. And for now, I will leave you be. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. All the best.